I don't think the world is even aware of their dependency on GPS. It's through the aviation system, through the banking system, banking transactions are verified using GPS. It's uh, in search and rescue, that's an obvious one, but uh, it, it's in robotic control, it's in saving uh, the world from excessive nitrogen, for example, in agriculture. As an Air Force officer, I had led the GPS program from its inception. I was there at the naming and we got the satellites up. When I briefed it to Congress, I explained before we were approved, we were going to both be a civil and a military system. Frankly, the civil applications have astonished even those of us who believed in the beginning. Stanford has had an enormous role in GPS. Uh, the FAA has a system that allows improved accuracy and integrity. It's called WAS, Wide Area Augmentation. It started here at Stanford. It started with a paper that I wrote with one of my students, and then we actually built the prototype here. One of the things that we had demonstrated back in 1992 was the ability to blind land an airplane using GPS, hands off. We could figure out where the airplane was a lot better than the pilot or the plane could fly itself. We could figure out where the airplane was within about two inches. And if you know where the airplane is within two inches, you can hook that into the autopilot and land it. We have robotically controlled the farm tractor. We are the first ones to do that with precision. We can control it on a rough field within about an inch and a half or two inches, better than the best driver can do. And it turns out that has led to enormous savings in terms of minimizing overlap, reducing the amount of fertilizer, reducing the amount of herbicide, and also has reduced the amount of nitrogen flowing into our streams and rivers, which is, of course, a pollutant. And my guess is you didn't think a whole lot when you drove over the Golden Gate about who the people were that actually built it. And that, that's one of the roles an engineer has, uh, in my opinion. We engineers like to achieve stuff. We like to get things done. We like to make things happen. We like to benefit people. And by and large, we're not all that enamored with the credit side. And I think that's an almost universal characteristic of good engineers.